Well, you know, it got so hot on that trail, I thought we were going to bring the cattle here already barbecued. <laughs> Hey, brother, how'd you make out? Oh, that was pretty good. Five thousand dollars. Hey, five thousand. I was right when he said the people around here were hungry for meat. A little celebration money. Bartender, right. two more of the same. Well, I don't know what I'm going to celebrate in this town. Hey, bartender, what are you doing this town for? Celebrating besides getting heat rash and sunstroke, huh? Well, we got a big trial starting up tomorrow. Folks be coming in for miles around. A trial? What's it all about? Obadiah Johnson. He owns a Lucky Seven mine with a fellow named Jeb Early. Uh, the late Jeb Early, that is. Seems Obadiah up and killed his wife and his, his partner both. Claimed the partnership was going too far. Hmm. I'd kind of like to see that trial. How about you, Ed? No, I think I'll just get away for a few days. No people, no cattle. Just peace and quiet. And what do you have in mind? Oh, I think I'll cut east over the mountains, do a little hunting, work my way over to Pyramid Lake, and uh, get in a little fishing and heading home. Come on, you must be out of your mind. Uh, that country you're going to go through is ten times tougher. We just brought the cattle through. Well, what's the matter? Can't take it anymore? No. <laughs> well, I'll get some supplies, get a nice hot bath, and then head on out. You ready? I'll go with you as far as the bath is concerned, but jumping out of the frying pan into the fire is my idea of a rest cure. I think I'll just hang around town for a while and take it easy. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll meet you in three days up at Signal Rock. All right. Signal Rock in three days. Now let's get that hot bath. All right. Thanks a lot, Martin. Hey, Fred. We're going to finally get a bath in this town. Right over there. Thank you. Dark-haired fella. He's carrying five thousand dollars. A live one, huh? But not for long. I can't for the life of me figure out why you want to wander around in the wilderness when you can stay here in town for a couple of days and just relax and take it easy. Besides, we can take in that trial together. Ah, uh, the cattle buyer told me about the case. Man confessed. So he'll hang. I don't want to stay around for that. How can you be so sure he's going to hang? Simple logic. He's guilty. He'll hang. It's the law. Yeah, does everything have to be so logical? No, not if you don't want to use your brains. Look, Joe. Man's responsible for what he does. If he uh, loses control of himself, he has to be punished for it. That's the way it is. Yeah. Just wonder if you'd feel that way if you were in Obadiah's shoes. Well, I can never be in Obadiah's shoes because nobody could ever drive me to murder. With one exception. Oh, yeah? Who's that? You. What? <laughs> Dark gun, you have! I'm gonna... Oh, no, you have, because I'm leaving! <laughs> Be at Signal Rock in three days and be on time for a change. Rock in three days.
Drop your gun belt. Easy like. Didn't I see you in Eastgate? Yeah, you did. Been a long trail. Fellas sure took your time about making your move. In our line of work, we like privacy. You know what we want. Yeah, I'm intuitive. Yeah, just toss it down here. And no tricks, huh? That's it. Now get down off that horse. You got your money. Climb down! Gonna let you walk out of here. I'll never make it without food and water. Nobody would. Well, now I feel real sorry for him. <laughs> don't you, Frank? Yeah, Jim, I'm all shook up. I don't want your pity. I just want a chance. We're giving you a chance. We ain't killing you. Very funny. Ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes at first, seeing a man alone out here on foot in the middle of nowhere. Well, my name is Kane, Peter Kane. Uh, Cartwright. If you don't mind my asking, Mr. Cartwright, uh, just where are you headed? Back, I hope eventually, but... Back home, Ponderosa. The great Ponderosa. Oh, yes, I've heard of it. As indeed, who hasn't? But you'll need food and rest. Won't you accept my humble hospitality? There's nothing, nothing humble about hospitality out here, Mr. Kane. Quite true, Mr. Cartwright. How much money did the men take? $5,000, but that's not what rankles me. Oh? $5,000 is a considerable sum of money. But I've been given to understand that the uh, Ponderosa is the equivalent of an ancient empire. Well, that empire, Mr. Kane, represents a lot of plain hard work. Oh, I'm sure of that. But I'm a man that's used to hard work. 
start right, 20 years ago, I came out here from the East to stake my claim. And at that time, I sold all my earthly possessions for the total sum of $3,000. Well, don't get me wrong, Mr. Kane. I'm not making light of the $5,000. Oh, I'm sure of that. But you said that something else rankles you. Yeah. Being left out here to die. And I suppose I would have if I hadn't stumbled into you. Well, I'm glad that you did, for your sake. And for mine. It gets lonely out here with only Epicene to talk to. Epicene? That's my mule. Oh, yeah. Mr. Kane, I wonder if I might uh, borrow your mule and uh, enough supplies to get back to civilization. I'd see that they were returned to you. Well, what's your hurry? I mean, why don't you stay around a few days and rest? Well, I uh, feel pretty good now. Besides, I'm overdue. <clears throat> Meet my kid brother at Signal Rocks. Signal Rocks? Well, that's better than 30 or 40 miles south of here. Yeah, good long haul on foot. Besides, I want to catch the men that left me out here. And when you catch them, what are you going to do? Kill them? No. I'll let the law take care of them. You're a remarkable man, Mr. Cartwright. To be content with mere legal revenge. I mean, after all, they left you out here to die. It's just a civilized process. Mr. Cartwright, I've found in my life that most men aren't particularly civilized. In fact, I find that men can be driven to do most anything. Oh, yeah. But I'm not one of them. Are you sure, Mr. Cartwright? Who was it who said, uh, know thyself? Exactly. Here, let me show you something. You know what this is? Gold? Yes, yeah, the gold I've been looking for for the past 20 years. Well, you're a lucky man, Mr. Kane. Yes, indeed. So now you understand why I can't let you have my mule, because I'll need her to help me work the claim. Well, I'll only need the mule for a few days. Well, now that I'm so close to the main vein, it, uh, you know, a few days could seem like an eternity to me. Mr. Cartwright, I'll make you a bargain. Bargain? Yes, if you stay here and help me work the claim for three days, I'll let you take the mule and the supplies you need to meet your brother. And the two men, can they can wait, too. And if everything goes like I hope it will, I might even join you. What do you say, Mr. Cartwright? Well, it's your mule, your food, and your water. And you did save my life. It's a deal. Good. It'll be a pleasure to talk to a civilized man for a change. If you'll come with me, I'll show you what progress I've made towards the van. Now you're going to need a lot more shoring before you get much deeper in there. Oh, I see you know about mining also, Mr. Cartwright. Well, I picked up a little theory in college and uh, a lot more practical experience in Virginia City. Have you ever done any blasting? Well, off and on. But always with respect. Yes. What time's are wasting now. I assume you also have knowledge of the star drill and hammer. Right. What do you know? Big brother says, be here on time. We get here and he's nowhere in sight. Well, Coochie, so we're just going to have to make camp and wait a while. 
If he doesn't show up soon, we just might not tell him Obadiah got off with only five years. powder until we get that new shoring in. We have to hurry, Mr. Cartwright. We only have two of our three days left. Yeah, but you go putting any more charges in there before we get the shoring in, that whole thing's just gonna collapse. Well, I'd like to hit that vein before you leave. Yeah, well, so would I. And it looks to me like that's about the only way you're gonna give me any rest. <sighs> Once more into the breach. Come on. Imagine that. Be on time, he says, and here he is already a day late. Well, Cochise, we can, we can either sit around this rock pile or we can start out looking for him. What do you think we ought to do? Oh, that's right, you don't talk before you had your morning coffee. There you go. Careful, it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Let's go. Come on, I think we better start looking for him. fresh air before, before I keel over in that oven. Well, don't take all day about it. Mr. Kane, for the past two days, you have worked me from sunup to sundown without a break. And any time I straighten up for one second, you are breathing down my neck, complaining about not wasting time. I thought you were used to hard work, Mr. Cartwright. Isn't that what you told me built the Ponderosa? trouble. Better get to a nearest town. Get some supplies while we can. Those sacks are only half full. Well, I don't want to work the animal to death. Since when have you been so concerned about animals, Mr. Cartwright? Look, Mr. Kane, a dead mule isn't going to get your gold or us out of here. Get back to work. No, thanks, Mr. Kane. My three days are up. As of right now. Cartwright! I give the orders around here and I'll get back to work. We made a bargain, Mr. Kane, and we're gonna keep it. The only bargain you're gonna keep is to work that mine till I strike it. That mine isn't gonna be good for anything but a grave. 
Now, we don't have enough food and water to stay here and get out alive. We gotta leave right now. Come on. Yeah. you've done. How do we get out of here now? We don't, until I hit that vein. Without the mule? There's you, Mr. Cartwright. Me? Yes, you. And if I refuse to be your pack animal? You won't refuse. No work, no water. I'm giving you a chance to live. And after all, every animal's first instinct is to survive. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have this down in a minute. Want a drink? Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Hey, uh, I found a uh, hole at Benson by the East Range. You better get to that as soon as you can. Yeah. But Paul, when's the rest of the Cartwright family gonna get home? Not that I'm complaining, you understand, but it seems to me like I'm doing the work for all three of us while they're gone. Well, uh, of course, that just shows you how much confidence I got in you. Paul, oh, that's flattery. But I'm afraid that flattery is gonna get at my back before it goes to my head. <laughs> well, they ought to be back any day, now. Good. I'll see to it they get a load of that flattery when they get here. No, horse, they ain't had it so easy. They're in pretty rough country up there. I'll trade with them. I'll trade with <laughs> them. Stop this foolish cat and mouse game. If you give me your word, you won't try to escape. And that way, maybe both of us can relax. And... There's today's rations. You can take half and serve me the rest. Another notch as a civilized man. Eating with your fingers like an animal. Who's an animal? Don't you judge me. I still have that right. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Get back to work. Time's running out.
I'm afraid you're right, son. And where's the guy to split hoof? Yeah. You'll be able to ride him for a while. That's right. But you're welcome to stay here if you want. Well, thanks, I gotta push on. You got a horse I can use? Yeah. But, son, I'd advise you to stay here tonight. Because the next town to Salt Flats is a mighty long haul from here. Well, I'm not going to Salt Flats. I'm heading south. Oh, mister, there ain't nothing out there but sand and mountains and dry bones. What about that horse you said I could use? Okay, I'll get it. brother's horse. Well, now, look, mister, I don't know anything about your brother. I asked you where you got the horse. I, I bought him from a couple of fellas. You got a bill of sale? Yeah. Where is it? Back in there. Let's get it. Sure. There it is. Legal and proper. All right, who's this Jim Gann? Well, a stranger to me. All I know is he wanted to sell a horse. What about the other fellow? You know his name? Seems to recollect that Gann called him, um, Frank. Do you have any idea at all where they were headed? Yeah, matter of fact, I do. They mentioned that they were going on to, uh, Salt Flats. Thanks. Looks like I'm going to Salt Flats after all. Shirking your duties, I'm cutting your food and water ration in half, as of today. Kind of a start. I wasn't expecting anybody quite so early this morning. <laughs> well, my name's Joe Cartwright. I'm looking for two men. Mm -hmm. A Jim Gann and a Frank something or other. Frank Preston? That could be. Are they in town? Well, what do you want them for? I think they may have killed my brother. Well, uh, I think you're a little bit late for that. What do you mean? Well, they tried to shoot up to town last night, including some of our good citizens, and as a result, I've got them stretched out in the back room. They're both... Cold dead. Where's your telegraph office? Oh, just a couple of doors west. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Cartwright, anything I can help you with? No. I'm going to wire my family. I try to find my brother.
don't you use the rifle, Cartwright? Not ready to kill yet. I don't want to kill you, Kane. I just want to get away from you. You can't escape me, Cartwright. Or yourself. Drop it right there. Not there on a stool. I use these ropes to hobble my mule. They'll do fine for you. Unfortunately, I'll have to tie you up every night now. You have proven yourself unworthy of trust. Therefore, you must be treated like an animal. Tie your feet securely, I'll check it. Did you just kill me and get it over with? I'm not gonna kill you, Cartwright. I have other plans. Now put your hands around that post. Who's the animal now, huh? You're pretty good at judging others, aren't you, Cartwright? Well, I claim that same privilege for myself. In spite of your advantages of being a Cartwright, I'm as good a man as you. In fact, I'm gonna prove that I'm a better man. Sam. We ran out of the last of the water and food today. So now the real test begins. <laughs> Yourself, Mr. Cartwright? Don't you want to kill me yet? Thank <laughs> you. 
Jake showed three horses. One man on foot. Jack's Peter out there by the rocks. We'll have to spread out, cover every direction. Paul, you need to get some rest, boy. You ain't had no sleep in three days. Not till we find them. Not till we find them. Horse, you go around by these rocks. Joe, you go in that direction. I'm following this trail. Yes, sir. Now let's see what you got in that stinking pit. Rocks. There's no vein in there. I know, Cartwright. I've known for some time. And why? Why all this? When I realized that this wouldn't be my strike either. Just another failure like all the rest. I knew that my time was up. I'd run out of everything. I never had the brakes like you, Cartwright. You wouldn't know what to do with them if you had them. You still think you're a better man than I am, don't you? That's right. Well, I'm gonna prove it's the other way around. I claim that you can be driven to kill like anyone else. I'm gonna give you a fair chance to kill or be killed. Food and water all this time, huh? All part of the plan. There's just enough there to get one of us out of here alive. This gun is loaded. Now I'm gonna put it between you and me. And we'll both go for it. The count of five. Two.
games. Kill me. Kill me. I either way I win. Can't go on, Paul. You can't do it. We're gonna have to face it, Paul. We're not gonna find Adam. Paul, it's been two weeks since he left Eastgate. Yeah, I guess. I suppose you're right. All right, let, let's go on back home. A dead man, Paul. He's been through some kind of hell. 